Lightsaber back again with another video. I just want to give you a few updates and a few charts that we've talked about on the channel for those of you that were interested. So we'll start with FIBO or FIBO, which is Fibonacci Band Network. Okay, we talked about this in my previous video just the other day. As you can see, it was heading to the downside when I told you that I'd bought into this. So if you did get in on this trade, congratulations, because um, after that, shortly there after that, it actually... I believe it was the next day actually um, by the morning it had gone up about 384 percent if you would have bought in at the bottom okay so uh yeah congratulations if you did get in on that trade a lot of coins like this you know what i tend to do is i tend to trade them and then after it's had its initial pump i will kind of get out of it all right um unfortunately for me um I actually got out of this too early all right so i'll be open and honest with you all right um by the time it got down here um i was holding it it got this little pump over here and when i saw that it weren't going up any further when we got this dump over here i kind of sold out this this trade all right um woke up the following morning to see that it gone absolutely parabolic which really annoyed me all right but that is the way the game goes sometimes you have to kind of make the best decision at the time the best decision for me at that time when i realized it wasn't going up i got out of it i thought i made the right decision because we saw it was starting to begin to make new lows but then after that by the time i woke up in the morning we saw that crazy pump but after that pump we see it has headed to the downside so congratulations if you did buy in on that anywhere in these lows and did hold out for that pump over there i always advise people take profits while you see a candle like this take profits i mean what's the point in holding it um to see whether it goes up that's what you call parabola uh, parabolic parabolic candle or a crypto lightsaber like i like to say all right so that is fiber or fibonacci burn moving on i will never touch this again so let's just close that down let's close that down let's move on to the next one okay so we're looking at o10 all right um this is a potential scenario for o10 okay so we've got the breakout of this triangle on the previous video we were talking about down here all right let's go back on the first video i told you about o10 down here we've got this crazy pump from around uh one thousand six hundred dollars all the way up to 33k if you would have caught the top of that wick i say 33k but it was just on the 34k all right it comes down and it goes down okay then i talked about o10 when we got around here put some good news behind a good chart setup all right and then we got that pump to the upside okay from around 8k all the way up to 19k all right and now we see it potentially retesting this downward slope and resistance or, or support at this point okay so if it does get a bounce off this that will be a classic retest and a bounce to the upside all right let's draw a line and see what could be a potential scenario here so if we measure it with this move from the bottom of the triangle to the top of that move there and we bring it over here over here to the top of the support level and bring it there like that you would see that it would line up more or less with the top of this candle body close over here and that will be a potential target for O10 in the short term all right if it catches momentum and carries on to the upside then we see it break potentially break into price discovery okay and i'm not saying that that's going to happen that is just a potential scenario for O10 so let's remove that and remove that okay and show you exactly how it looks at the moment okay potential breakout and retest all right um hmm whether it's going to happen or not we'll have to wait and see okay one that really disappointed me was y gem okay um and 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 you know if i'm being honest there is still time for this to make its move okay if you look at this pattern here it's basically a sideways consolidation potential accumulate accumulation the volume is not that high though all right um they had a token burn i believe it was somewhere right here okay so they announced yesterday the token burn uh, they will be they will be burning the unsold tokens from the pre-sale and it'll be locked to liquidity forever okay um the hype didn't kick in for that okay got a little pump all right just a little pump uh 40 percent okay after that it dwindled back off to the downside now it is kind of making a little bit of a move now um if this can catch some momentum and break uh, that would be really good for Y gems it could be a big pump in for that but for me personally i'm a little bit disappointed in the performance um i think that you know the burn over here should have happened way over here 
all right and um whatever buyback they were going to do if they're going to do it i think it should have happened way over here however maybe i'm not as smart as they are and maybe they are gearing up for a special move um yeah but at the moment if you look at it it is going sideways so it's not a it's not as risky an investment as if it were kind of pumped already so it might be a better entry for you and a safer entry uh entry on wide gems okay if you don't know what YGEM is, you can uh, check out their website, generation.finance, all right? And uh, yeah, that's what you'll find out about that. It's a fork of uh, IFI. Uh, right about now, I'm kind of done with forks, to be honest, but that's another video. Okay, so let's just quickly have a look at RGT, all right? So this is rareable, no, sorry, not rareable, rare governance token. I talked about this in one of my previous videos all right and uh in that video we talked about the fact that this was a very low cap gem okay uh rgt and when i say low cap i mean low cap all right so if we can find it on here here we are so the market cap now is currently at 368 thousand just under four hundred thousand all right because obviously you can see it has had a little bit of a pump okay now i bought it somewhere down here i really don't actually know just about where i got in if i'm being honest i bought the dip all right guys now when i pointed it out i told you guys about it while it was up here somewhere okay we saw it pump all right and i said you know what this might be a good buy just based on the market cap so i was willing to risk something in it okay i put a position on uh i took i, mean, I took maybe just maybe just a little profit i can't actually remember okay but my re-entry point was down here all right and uh, i've since taken profit on this just after this little pump here okay so if we say if you worked on the bottom of this and you did get into that you would have made 140 percent just on that move along all right now this was the only one i was holding my money in um over the weekend uh, because you know there's a lot of uncertainty and doubt with a lot of these cryptos we don't know what's going on with some of them okay um there's another one okay that i'm, I'm actually missed out on all right um i did buy this in the beginning but i sold way too early on this way too early okay because crypto luck did go all the way up to 5k all right as you can see over here uh, we got in originally down here okay and it pumped to around 1800 all right consolidated went sideways move 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 and then we got this big pump all the way up to 5200 which is very fast probably would have missed that all right but as you can see it did continue to climb all the way back up um so it gave people a second chance to be able to take profit at that level around 5k and now it's falling to the downside whether there's more upside for this i would say there's probably a little bit more downside for this before it goes up up again well i could be wrong about that but um yeah i mean leaving your money in some of these cryptos i mean it's not there's no certainty so i don't like to take the risk uh personally all right with a lot of these DeFi coins if i get a pump i'm more than likely going to take some profits because it's so easy to get wrecked all right guys and they can come down as quick as they go up as you can see here we get a pump all the way up there it can come down just as fast all right or, or faster let's say most of the time you know that's why like in you know the stock market or in bitcoin you know i prefer to short the market because it's, i think they're easier moves to predict all right and there's there's it's quicker money it's faster you know uh, i think it's less risky personally to short um when you're dealing with stocks and shares and and you're dealing with uh bitcoin and that's just my personal opinion not everyone will agree okay but um i'm no longer short in bitcoin um i may get back into that at some point all right and i may even get back into uh the stocks and shares trading gold and currencies and oil and stuff like that i've got a friend who's actually trading gold doing really well right now he's trying to encourage me to get back into gold i'm saying you know what maybe later all right but right now i'm focusing on crypto okay but moving on to my final coin of the day i want to talk about by dow okay uh for the sake of update and we can see that by that had broken broken this level of downward slope and resistance so it's hard for me to read um, anything they would do um aside from what it's doing now which is going sideways all right a lot of people are still hyped are still pumped about by a lot of people are still hoping that this will you know do some big things all right now the only thing i can say about by is that it has leveled out 
Uh, or it does look like that at least and it is going sideways okay if it wanted to give you more downside it could have done that over here but it does seem to be holding up some little some strength around this support area over here if we mark that out for you with our horizontal line okay so this support level seems to be the key level of support at the moment because if it does fall below that i think it's going to fall below that and uh yeah there's going to be more downside but i mean it seems to have found a bottom potentially potentially okay so don't quote me on that but um yeah it will be good news if we can start to see a little bit of an uptrend um after this we can see it is still curling over curling over if it touches this line again i think it may get a little bit of a springboard to the upside but that is speculation you know that's not 100 percent going to happen but we wouldn't want to see a waterfall like that because that could be could mean you know a disaster for the price action on buydow another good thing is you can see all this volume coming in over here so as opposed to a volume over there okay the volume is building up which is also a sign of good things to come potentially it would be nicer if the volume was more robust and green like that you know and it was more chunkier in these areas but um you know it is what it is buy down no news um as of yet about the token burn i know some of you are waiting for that we were good to know if that would come through again um i need to address something um about buy down again or about my relationship with buy buy uh, with buy down i want to have a relationship with buy down okay now people are asking me to um email buy down on their behalf i really can't do that it's not something that i'm prepared to do if i did that for everyone that asked me you know um i'd be probably be you know doing a lot of emails to buy down okay but um you know you might think i've got some clout or whatever do you know what i mean but it's just not my area you know i don't work for buy down I, you know, I, I don't get paid enough to, to be, you know, doing all this advocating business. Do you know what I mean? If you haven't received your tokens from Baidao for whatever reason, you know, it's not something I can relate to to myself. It's not a problem that I had myself and I solved it before. And I can say to you, right, this is what I did. You do that and they'll be able to help you. Right. All I can say to you is email them and just keep emailing them. Bother the admins, you know, and um, yeah, hopefully they will sort you out. Okay. Um, I don't think it's good, a good look for buy down for people to be going through that because at the end of the day, even if one person says something bad about buy down, I mean, that's the last thing they need is anybody saying anything bad about them, anybody saying that they didn't get what they paid for. Okay. Bad reviews are not good for in crypto. Okay. So that's about it for now guys if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe like and comment get over onto twitter and follow me at crypto lightsaber also you can become a patreon link is in the description for that that gives you access to the telegram group also guys i am now on instagram okay so i'll be making posts on there all right so you can follow me on instagram and um you can get posts crypto related and non-crypto related you can see pictures of me pictures of you know videos or whatever all right i'll give you a little snippet of the kind of things that i'm posting on there at the end of this video so stay tuned for that and um yeah if you want more of that you can go follow me on instagram i'd like to be able to build that up and become a little bit more popular on there all right it's very new so there's not any followers at the moment only just a select few all right guys so please go and support me on instagram and follow me if you have an instagram account all right so i'll see you guys in the next video I love that car, man. BMW i8. One day. This is my boy Mike here. Hey, you filming I, that? Yeah, I'm filming it. Please. <laughs> I was just filming his car in the car park. Oh, he I'm didn't know that yet. <laughs> I'm trying to learn from this guy. Look at this, man.